What's up everybody, Andrew with NQS Performance Outdoors coming to you from the workshop here again today. Just wanted to touch base, I know it's been a minute, uh, been super busy the last 10 days or so, but uh, wanted to talk to you guys about some tools that I believe will help make you better anglers. Uh, one of the things I see a lot, people say, how can I get better at fishing? And one of the most obvious answers that we always hear is time on the water. And to be honest, that's an answer that's uh, pretty generic. Everybody knows that more time on the water is going to make you a better angler. However, if you're like me, you've got a wife, you've got a couple of kids, you've got to work full time, more time on the water is oftentimes very difficult to come by. So I want to talk about a couple of tools that are really uh, inexpensive. Some of them you probably have at your disposal already, but they're all tools that I believe are really important to becoming a better fisherman or fisherwoman. And uh, one of the things you're gonna notice here is that my shop is almost completely empty. So stick around to the end of the video. We'll address that also. Um, got some big news that I'll share with you guys. But first and foremost, let's get to these tools to help us become better anglers. All right, you guys, the first piece of equipment I'm gonna talk about is the most expensive one, but it's also one that you most likely have on hand already in your home, and that's your computer. Some things that I like to use the computer for, first and foremost, I'll go to Google Earth and I will look at a body of water from the satellite imagery. What I'm looking for is maybe where the docks are located. If I'm looking to uh, run a pattern that is um, going to be docks, I want to look for docks, locate those. That'll help me uh, dial in on a more specific area. The other thing I might be able to find on there is emergent vegetation. If I'm going to be looking for a top water bite or I'm going to be looking to flip grass, um, I can find that sometimes on Google Earth. And if the water is really clear at times, you can even see where some of the contours are, where the depth is starting to break off and things of that nature. So go ahead and use Google Earth as a tool. It's free, it's on your computer, and it's easy to use. The other thing I'm looking at on my computer are local fishing reports. I will caution you guys, be careful with the fishing reports. There's a lot of noise in there. That doesn't necessarily matter, but the things I'm looking for as really key pieces of information are things like water clarity and water temperature. I don't expect to uh, find out what baits guys are using or I'm not looking for specific areas that guys are fishing. I'm just looking to filter through all of that noise to find out what the water temp is like, what the water clarity is like, is the water level low, is the water level high, things like that. And then um, that's going to be another piece of the puzzle. Also, look at um, how recent that report is. You know, if it's a couple weeks old, it may not um, be current anymore but it'll at least point you in the right direction. So use those local fishing reports um, as another tool in your arsenal to become a better angler, you guys. Second tool that I use, guys, uh, before I go fishing is this book right here. Um, this is a book of all the lakes in southern Wisconsin. Um, this is an invaluable resource, you guys. Um, I'll just flip open to a lake that I fish fairly regularly, um, which is Delavan Lake, which is about an hour from my house. But You'll see on here, it's got key pieces of information like public access points. Um, the other thing I like to look at is it actually has stocking data and it's got um, creel results from when they boom shock and survey the local lakes here. Um, it gives me a good idea of how healthy the fishery is. Um, you know, it does have some what they would call hot spots marked on the map. Those are good starting points, but those are generally speaking going to be community holes that get a lot of pressure. But um, it does help me locate contours. Um, it helps me locate maybe where vegetation might be. And the big thing is access points and if there's inlets or outlets, things like that, that you're going to want to target. But um, this is a really inexpensive book. I think I paid about 20 bucks for it, you guys. And like I said, it's got all of the southern Wisconsin fishing lakes. It's got uh, rivers and streams included in it. And it provides a lot of great information, you guys. Don't be afraid to pick one of these up. Um, this is a really key piece of uh, 
equipment for me in terms of eliminating water and um, just you know getting a better feel for the lay of a given lake all right you guys this is another really obvious tool in the arsenal of becoming a better angler it's just um, my iPhone um, whether you have an iPhone or an Android you know it doesn't really matter the key thing that I use on my phone is this guy right there that is the Navionics Boat USA app and what I do with that you guys is once I look at the map if I identify an area that looks to be really interesting I then go to my Navionics app and I zoom in on it and I really get a closer detailed look at that particular area I don't remember what the subscription is for that I want to say it's about 10 bucks a year it's um, the main lakes I think are contoured in like three foot increments it does allow you to store some waypoints uh, some things you may want to be careful of on that app is turn your uh, community sharing off if you don't want to share your waypoints if your community sharing is on your waypoints will become public knowledge to anybody that wants to look at that lake I generally turn that off and uh, that way you know that's just my private information um, I store my waypoints on this app as well as on my Garmin unit inside of my boat but um, it serves as a really good backup for me and it's really inexpensive you guys and there's a lot of great information inside of that app so if you've got a smartphone and you're on the fence whether or not you want to pay the 10 bucks for the Navionics app go ahead and do it you won't regret it it's a great tool to use and it will help you become a better angler all right, you guys, the last tool I want to talk about that I believe can help you become a better angler is your tackle storage system. Um, keep in mind, I'm just a regular guy. I'm not sponsored by Bass Mafia. I'm a huge believer in their products, and um, for the money, they're a great investment. I can't tell you how many Plano or Flambo, you know, whatever brand, Bass Pro Shops, Gander Mountain, before they went out of business. I'm pretty tough on my equipment, you guys, and, and I've broken a lot of Plano boxes over the years. So I have upgraded and started to upgrade to these Bass Mafia boxes. This one right here, you can see I've got it labeled hooks. And I'll just crack this open. A couple of the key features on this are this gasket that goes around it. That's going to keep it uh, any water out of the box. Um, you know, we spend a lot of money on our hooks. It's important investment. Um, it's our last point of connection with the fish, so it's important to keep them in good shape. And then what I've done here, you guys, is I've really organized this. You can see um, if I want a weighted swim bait hook, I've got them labeled and I've got them in here. Um, another hook, you know, trocar flipping hooks. I know exactly where to go to grab them. Um, probably my most popular hooks are going to be my 3 aughts and 4 aughts. You can see here. When I open up my box, I've got it labeled. That's a Gamagatsu EWG 3 aught. I'm relatively low on it. I probably need to order some more. But you can see I keep them all to a safety pin so they stay together as well. Um, you know, uh, being organized makes us more efficient on the water. The more efficient we are, the more casts we're going to make. The more casts we make, the more opportunity we have to catch fish. And you can see I keep them all together. I've got everything labeled. That's a Trocar HD 4 aught round bend. Here's a Trocar 3 aughts. Trocar Finesse 2 aughts. Guys, I just label everything. And again, like I said, for me, I found a safety pin, a really great way to keep everything together and organized. Um, you can see I got some super line extra wide gap hooks in there. I know it's a little hard to zoom in with the GoPro, so I apologize for that, you guys. But uh, I think you can get the point. It did take me a little bit of time to get to this point, and I'm still in the process of it. But I got to tell you, you guys, it's it's been a real help for me out on the water to stay organized. I'm not spending time digging through boxes, looking for hooks. I know exactly where to go. Guys, this is one that I've just added to my arsenal. This is the Bass Mafia Terminal Coffin. We'll pop this guy open so you guys can see what it looks like. Again, it's got that rubber O-ring. It's going to stay watertight. It's going to keep all your stuff dry. Um, it's got individual tackle trays in it. These all slide out individually. Um, three of them are set up to hold your bullet weights. You can see I've labeled. I've just started putting this one together, so it still looks relatively empty at this point. But I have labeled everything. Two, uh, two ounce tungsten, ounce and a half, one ounce, three quarters, half ounce, five sixteenths, three eighths. Um, these will all be quarters and eighths. It's got two more. It actually comes with three that are slotted like this. I took the slotting out of one. I'm going to go ahead and keep all my punch skirts in that one. Um, these I'll save. I'll probably uh, load these up with my trocar flipping hooks, you know, my 4 aughts, my 5 aughts. 
Um, I've got my bobber stops if I'm going to be doing some punching. I've got some barrel swivels in here if I want to set up a donkey rig. I got my O-ring tool for wacky rigs, screws and nail weights if I want a Nico rig. You guys, this is an awesome box. This is going to save me so much time. Um, I'm going to know exactly how much my bullet weights weigh when I pick them up. I'm not going to have to look at it and say, well, is this a quarter? Is it three eighths? Now I'm going to know. Um, again, you guys, I want to really emphasize how important it is to stay organized when we're out there on the water. Um, you know, if I can save... 20 minutes a trip even that I'm not searching for tackle because I've got everything organized. That's 20 more minutes that I'm going to be presenting my bait and hopefully uh, increasing my chances of putting a couple extra fish in the boat. Um, if you're like me and you get out maybe once a week, it's really important to maximize that time on the water. So tackle storage is a really important way uh, to help you become a better angler on the water. All right, you guys, there you have it. There are some tools that I think you all can use to help yourselves become better anglers. I know I mentioned I would talk to you about why my workshop is looking so empty at the beginning of the video, so let's go ahead and get that out of the way. I have accepted a position down in Florida, so that's going to be a massive shift for myself and my family. Um, in the coming weeks, I am going to be moving down to Florida. Um, what does that mean for the channel? Uh, it means... Um, maybe in the beginning, maybe a little bit less frequent, but I'm going to try to stay with you guys, um, try to share my journey with you on my trip down to Florida. It also means eventually I'm going to be buying a new boat, so hopefully I can bring you guys along for the ride on that um, as I make that journey and that decision. I've got some ideas of what I might buy, but uh, that's going to be a little bit down the road. Um, it also means that for a little while the custom rod shop is going to be on hiatus. Uh, until I can get things figured out down there and see if I can get something set up to keep building the custom rods. This is not the end of NQS Performance Outdoors by any stretch. Uh, hopefully it's going to serve as a springboard for bigger and better things for the rod business, uh, for the YouTube channel. Um, hopefully I can get you guys some really great fishing content once I get down there. Uh, but yeah, I mean it's going to be a huge shift for myself and my family. Um, it's going to be quite a journey to get uh, our entire household down there, myself, my wife, our two kids, um, all the gear, all the stuff that we own. But like I said, I'm going to try to bring you guys along on the journey. Hopefully this video helps you guys stay a little organized. Hopefully I showed you guys some tools that you can use to become better anglers. If you like what you saw here, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. Thanks for watching, you guys. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you next time on NQS Performance Outdoors.